know, it's our third game in a row where we started off and give, dug ourselves a, a deep hole. You know, we were able to come back against Eastern Illinois, and now you're playing against Drake and Michigan State in the Big Ten, and it, you know, it's it's really tough to come back from a from a start and a deficit um, like we've done in this these first half. So, um, you know, we'll we'll have to see what we need to do um, to make sure the team is ready to play. Um, obviously, it's it's just tough to to, to start out. Um, the way we've started in these first three games. So we'll, um, you know, we get a, a few days now, a little bit of time before um, before we go to Northwestern where we can, um, you know, hopefully uh, continue to get better in practice and, and work on um, the things we need to work on. Thank you, Coach. First question will go to Kent Youngblood. Coach, is there a common denominator with the turnovers that occurred, particularly in the first quarter when they really got rolling? And I think they ended up with like 30 points off of turnovers tonight. In, in your mind, it, it seemed like there was a lot of dribbling and less like maybe ball movement. What, what, did, what did you see? Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, some of that. And, um, you know, when we're driving to the basket, um, you know, they're swiping down at the ball and, and we're, uh, we need to be tougher with the ball, flat out. We need to be tough with the ball. Um, you know, we had times where they're just, you know, taking it from us. They really, um, you know, denied reversals and denied us at the elbows. And, um, you know, we need to work to get better to make sure we're, we're open in those situations and um, in more in sync. But, um, you know, we started out the first five minutes. I think we had five or six turnovers and just led to easy baskets. Thanks, Kent. We'll go to Tony Leibert. Uh, I know you opened saying that you've been in a big hole in all three games. Uh, as a coach and I guess as a team, how do you think you can improve that going forward? Um, you know, different different things in practice. Um, you know, making, you know, we're going to have to get it to where um, now that we have a little time to focus on ourselves um, and we have some, some time to practice that we can um, – you know, simulate some of those things in practice. Um, Cause obviously it's, I mean, who wants to play from behind in 90% of the minutes we've played so far, we've been down in every game. So it's, um, I'm tired, it's old, I'm tired of it. And um, you know, we need to work to be better for sure. Thanks Tony, we'll go next to Nolan O'Hara. You had uh, Sarah and Alexia back, or I guess Alexia making her Gophers debut. How was it to have them back on the court and how did you feel about the way they played tonight? great um that they were back out there i mean sarah had to practice and then she played in the last however many months and weeks and alexia um has had about a week of practice recently so um i thought pretty good for 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 that um you know um so it's it's um yeah they, they did what they could i mean sarah played 29 minutes well they both played almost 30 minutes and um obviously you know knocking some rust off first game of the year right into the big 10 so um you know it's 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 tough but this is what we're it's what we're doing so we gotta we gotta just be better and be tougher go next to sam sklar um looking at michigan state um, they're two guards of uh, Nia Clouden and then Eliza Winston off the bench seem to kind of give you guys struggles on defense tonight. So I just kind of wondering what you saw from them tonight that were giving you guys such trouble. Well, obviously, Clouden's one of the best players in this conference. Um, so she's, I mean, she's just a tremendous player. Um, you know, she's, you know, her first few years, you know, we, everybody knows she likes to go left, but She's had a nice little hesitation, come back right. Um, that is just hard to guard. I mean, she's just a really, really good player. Um, Eliza Winston hit open shots. She hit some open shots. Um, and she got her confidence going. Um, you know, she's somebody who's, you know, obviously, you know, comes in off their bench, wants to have an impact. And um, if she plays well, she's going to play more. And tonight she got her confidence going. And um, she ends up, yeah, with uh, going eight for 12. So, um you know, give her credit for, for knocking shots down. We got time for a couple more for coach. We'll go back to Kent. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Lindsay, uh, both uh, Alexia and Katie looked like they tweaked their ankle a little bit, but mm -hmm. when they come back, are you pretty confident they'll be okay going forward? And uh, 
What do you think the chances are of uh, Laura being available for Northwestern? I uh, hope they're both okay. Um, you know, we'll get, you know, we'll look we'll at treatment and we'll see. Um, uh, hope they're, hope they're fine. Um, we'll, we'll know more this weekend um, on Laura. We'll, we'll see how um, the next few days go with her and, um, and uh, yeah, we, we hope, um, we hope she'll be available. Okay, thanks, Coach. We'll we'll wrap it up there with you, and we'll bring in uh, Jasmine Powell here in just a second. Thanks, thanks Coach. Carl, how come you're not wearing an official Gophers face mask? Never got one. <laughs> I'm sure I could get one if, if I asked for it, but uh, actually my, <laughs> my mom made, made this what I'm wearing, so I'm, I'm wearing it uh, with pride for her. Okay, I see we have uh, Jasmine Powell ready. So uh, Kent, we'll go first question to you. Yes, um, in each of the first three games, you guys have had tough starts, kind of gotten into a hole. Do um, you see any kind of common denominator in what's going on when at the start of these games? Um, turnovers. Uh, first game, that a moving screen. Second game, just turn the ball over. Um, we're not putting the ball up. We're not trying to score out. We're just turning the ball over. Um, that's the common denominator that I'm seeing. Thanks, Kent. We'll go to Nolan O'Hare next. Regarding uh, Cloudon for a lot of the game, I mean, just how difficult of a player is she to match up against and what was she able to do just offensively tonight? Uh, yeah, we uh, went to the game knowing Cloudon was uh, a really good guard. She demonstrated that tonight. Um, just her trying to um, throw us off our game. We tried to uh, send her to the screen. She was... Um, she was rejecting the screen and shooting off of it. So we um, kind of had to adjust to that, but um, she made us work for it and uh, she had a good game tonight. Kent, I believe you had another question. Uh, yeah, uh, how frustrating was it for you to have to watch so much at the end of that game from the bench uh, after getting that fifth fall? Oh, very frustrating. Um, I think I should have been a little bit smarter than that at the end because we just started the quarter. Um, I think they had just been waiting there for me to get that fifth foul. So it was kind of hard, like, sitting and watching my team instead of um, helping them try to win. Um, definitely, like, my, kind of my first experience, kind of sitting on the sideline and um, watching my team. But trying to do everything I can uh, leadership-wise um, from the sideline. Any other questions for Jasmine? Otherwise, we'll bring in Gadiva Hubbard. Okay, thanks, Jasmine. I appreciate your time. Thank you.
Okay, we are now joined by Gadiva Hubbard. We'll go uh, to Kent Youngblood with the first question. Gadiva, uh, the first quarter, kind of the slow start again with all the turnovers. What do you think was happening there? Um, I think we were just rushing with it. We were very excited for the game, obviously, and just trying to force passes that just weren't there. Go next to Nolan O'Hara. Yeah, in the second quarter, down by 20, and then at the end of the quarter, kind of came back, and you hit three threes. And what was kind of clicking where everything kind of came together and you were able to cut that lead in half before before halftime? Um, with my shots, I just figured that they were playing really hard, so I knew they were going to shoot gaps and things. So I just tried to read the defense as well as I could, and my teammates were finding me. And I think on the defensive end, we were getting stops. So it was just working out for us at that time. Kent, did you have another question? No, sir. Does anyone else have a question for Gadiva? Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Thanks very much, Diva, for your time. And uh, thanks everyone for joining us on the call here. The uh, recordings will be up on uh, the Gophers Digital Press Box here uh, in a little bit. Thank you.